with what happened with the opening of the homesteading in the late 60s and early 70s when the realization came that it was an illegal act and there needed to be compensation made for to, to the Salish and Kootenai tribes for what happened. The traditionalists were saying, it's not our problem to, you know, to, um, it's not our problem to make it easy for you to, to, to solve this situation. For us, the answer, there's only one answer, give us the land back. And if that means that the United States government has to go and buy everybody out in order to give us the land back, then so be it. But just give us the land back. The, at that particular time, the tribal council had no members who participated in any of the traditional ceremonies. And so they didn't know, they didn't, even though they, they wanted to represent traditional worldview, they didn't know. In fact, that was just in the early stages of cultural revival. It was during the, the late 60s and the early 70s. In 1972, a settlement was reached with the tribes where they paid the tribes, I think it was somewhere in the area of between 25 and 30 million dollars for the land that was lost. Which the traditionalists were saying, no, don't take the money. We need the land back. The people who were, in, who were on the tribal council at the time saw the real value as being the money. So that's what they, that's what they did. They, uh, they voted to accept the money.